a non-profit company which really is an exciting place. We, we turn lives around, we, we develop entrepreneurs, we, we mentor them, provide them guidance, support, equip them with tools and knowledge, all about empowering them to their next level of, of, of grade. And uh, it's about giving a personalized mentorship support to a, a fledgling entrepreneur and helping them through that journey, that the exciting journey of entrepreneurship. So we're here at, uh, at this conference to talk to the construction industry and essentially just um, uh, welcome them on board and invite them to come on board and partner with us because while we are specialists in terms of developing entrepreneurs and we develop entrepreneurs holistically in, the, in that we look at the actual business owner and we try and build that uh, entrepreneurial uh, capacity, leadership and personal development. We also look at the, the business skill set, the business model and the strategy elements within the business and then we also help them on the financial management and financial excellence reporting that kind of thing and all of it is goal focused strategic goal focused with milestones measured on on regular basis and reported to to funders so we say to the construction industry well if you came on board and you partnered with us we could actually develop customized solutions that can actually help transform this industry because we believe that construction has got a, a wonderful ability to really uh, start challenging some of the key um, problems that we have in South Africa. Uh, I think my colleague has mentioned the gross inequality that exists uh, between rich and poor. There's also the issue of poverty, unemployment, and there's another issue which is in there, which is the issue of high debt levels as well. And we're saying the best way for us to take our economy forward is to really bring in the small, biz small businesses. And we believe that mentorship is, is the best way to take entrepreneurship forward. The Hope Factory is uh, actually part of the uh, South African Institute of Chartered Accountants. Uh, we are part of a, a big uh, portfolio which is called Nation Building. And really that is at the heart of, 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 our, our, of our differentiator, if we put it that way. We really believe that if every South African, every South African can really be empowered and be able to have the dignity of having their own income generation, wealth creation ability, we can take this wonderful nation to the, to the next level of greatness. And so when we do our programs, we really take time to really understand the entrepreneur that we're dealing with, and we take a lot of time to understand the funder uh, that we are also working with, you know, so that we can try and, 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 and bridge the gap between these two worlds. There's the mainstream economy, and then there's the economy where the entrepreneur plays. And most of the time, there is Mis misalignment because of many reasons, lack of trust, the risks involved, and just just not understanding the other person's key key challenges and key and key objectives. So what we try and do is to really come through and tailor programs that really look at develop understanding that entrepreneur and developing that entrepreneur. So we go into the entrepreneurial insights, actually understanding this particular person. Their, their limiting beliefs, their, their, their capacity for growth and that kind of thing. We, uh, we try, you know, unfortunately in South Africa also, the conversation of entrepreneurship takes place mostly as a last resort type thing. It is, I couldn't get a job, so I had to be an entrepreneur. And I think the other problem in South Africa is that failure is not celebrated as part of the learning journey of, of humanity. And so we want perfection. And, and so what we're trying to do is we're trying to talk to mainstream industry and say, let's not look at a compliance-driven approach to this thing called transformation. Let's look at it this way. How would we like the South Africa to, that, you know, that our kids will live in? Say, say 2036, how do we want that to look like? Do we want to still see you know, extreme poverty living next to extreme opulence? Or would we want to see rather a society where people can be integrated and can use their skills. We've got a restless youth, we've got lots of issues and we're saying this is the time for industry and you know the, the, the civic organizations like us to basically partner. So we're saying we can actually make bespoke programs that can try and address all of the things that have been a challenge to, to the industry players in this instance uh, construction and develop that, uh, that budding entrepreneur who wants to make a difference for him and his family and his community. I think 
I'll answer it a little bit differently and that's say I think in South Africa we just need a more more of an entrepreneurial culture. Okay. I think that uh, if more of our dinner table talks with our children, the young kids, would be around, hey, how can you take this idea here and, and commercialize it? Maybe then we get a Mark Zuckerberg from South Africa. You know, maybe if we started to have some sort of, uh, not, not just a entrepreneur Friday once a year in a, in, a, in a school, but we kind of integrate that in our learning system. I think that we start, we start really developing that, that uh, capacity to, to have people who are problem solvers. We are really looking for problem solvers. And, and one of the things that we, 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 we try and uh, do at the Hope Factory is when we work with the entrepreneurs, they don't pay to come on our programs. But we're very mindful to not allow a, a, a mindset of entitlement to come through there. We always want someone to say, I'm getting a hand up and I'm going to pay it forward. So I would say we're looking at entrepreneurs everywhere. Give me an entrepreneur, I'll take them. But we obviously also see that uh, there's a, there's a def and with good reason, there's a focus in our country for, for youth. As, as we've said, we've got a restless youth. You know, they need places to channel their, 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 their pr most productive years. And also the, uh, the area of uh, women entrepreneurs. That's a big area and I'm, I'm glad to say that on our side we've seen quite a lot of women entrepreneurs coming into the construction industry.